Government has a terrorist screening database. What we don't know in detail is how exactly people end up on it, including a seven-month-old baby. Today, a group of Muslim Americans are suing, saying they were put on a terror watch list or the no-fly list for no reason. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell has their story. These are the two lawsuits filed. One of them is a class action lawsuit. It aims to represent thousands of American Muslims placed on the terror watch list without due process. At a press conference today, the Council on American Islamic Relations announced the suits. It says it's obvious plaintiffs were put on a watch or no fly list, even though they are not terrorists. We had a seven month old that was put on uh, the list. That is right. CARE says a seven month old baby was on the watch list. They find out they're on the list when they go to fly. Miriam Jukaku is one of them. You know, I'm a same home. I'm a regular American. My kids are going to school, just trying to, you know, make it through the day. She was traveling from California to Dearborn to visit her parents with her little one when she found out she was on a list. Um, why would uh, my own government place me on a list with um, potentially um, horrible criminals? Like, guys, get your intelligence right. You know what I'm saying? Michael Coleman says he found out he was on a terrorism watch list when he was trying to board a plane to Malaysia. Ironically, he was invited there by the prime minister to take part in an event that aims to stop violent extremism. And then to be targeted, and again, maybe it's random, but it makes me wonder how, um, how accurate and how well uh, our security dollars are being spent. The FBI controls the no-fly list and the watch lists. It calls them one of the government's most effective counterterrorism tools. It says names aren't added without evidence for suspicion from government agencies. After complaining, some plaintiffs say they were able to travel without problems and may have been taken off the list. They want the government to make sure people aren't unfairly grouped with terrorists. These lists are a secret, so we are not really sure how people are getting on the list. Plaintiffs taking part in this lawsuit say the bottom line is they're taking part because they love America, its constitution, and what it stands for. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.